with Brooklyn's getting started back up today. <gasps> okay, get dressed. Okay, and now, yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's almost eight. Why is it that this meeting with Elsa is so important? Because I want to star as a lead role in her new little mini-series. Your meeting will be held tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Great! Hey Mikey, uh, can you get me signed in please? Uh, sure thing. Alright, you can go ahead to your shoot. Thanks. Wait, do you know what room it will be held in? Just the recording room. Okay, thanks. Am I late? There you are. You're not late. Thanks, dog. Come on, people, let's get rolling. <sighs> we will in a second, Maxwell, okay? I didn't even do my makeup. Okay, um, we can phone in Birdie if you'd like. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Okay, here she is. Alright, follow me. Okay, she's ready. Wonderful. Thank you, Birdie. No problem. Do I look completely okay? You look wonderful. Now, um... Go ahead and stand up here, and we'll get the tables ready. Okay, thanks. And bring it in, boys. Perfect. The white backdrop, we need that. Okay. Let's get this hung up, and then she can be ready. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Brooklyn, and as you all know, my name is Brooklyn, but you can call me Brooke for short. Now, I started this series way back in the day, like last year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to be restarting up this series, it's just going to be like a little backup series, and I... This series is going to be cooking things. It could be fake food for your LPS or edible fake things like what we're making today. Today on Cooking with Brooklyn, we are going to be making edible fake blood. Let's just, um, I have a little batch here, but it is almost gone. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna let it drip on him for a little bit. So we can just have a dollop like that and then just let it run down. Or if you're impatient, then you could get a singular drop of water and add it to the blood and that will make it move a little bit faster. So when it actually moves for once without the water it will look, in my opinion, very, very real. 
and it tastes and smells really good as well. If it'll ever drip. Here we go, I've got some more. And this one should drip much faster. And there we go. So as you can see, it is very, very thick. And it runs very nicely, in my opinion. I personally love this one. This is probably one of my favorite fake bloods to use. And it smells and tastes so good. There's a bug over there. It is like a giant mosquito. It is horrifying. So, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this fake blood today. Okay, so, what I'm going to be using today is pre-sweetened Kool-Aid. And a cup. Something to mix it with. And, of course, the helpful sink of water. So first, I'm going to get a spoon, open up the Kool-Aid, kind of mix it around because it is sort of dry in there. And two. And I'm just going to get one more, then we can add our first little bit of water. Three. That is three spoonfuls of kool -Aid. Now we can go and get a cup of water. Okay, so I got this small cup of water, and we're only going to pour about that much in there. That was like barely any. And now, we're just going to crush all the little particles. Now, we need to add a little bit more water. But this is too much water. So, we're going to add a bit more Kool-Aid. And by that, I mean like two and a half more spoons. And now we mix. Mix, mix, mix. 